Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I hope today has been treating you well. In today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of new makeup. So some of these bits I have tried before and some of them are brand spanking new. It's mostly completely new like first impressions today. That's what we're going to be doing. I've got loads of Made by Mitchell. It's like mostly Made by Mitchell <laughs> at this point but I've also got a few bits from Seventeen that aren't on the website yet have not seen them online but I did see them in store they were on the like the new bit you know at the top where they like showcase new items they were on there so if they will ever come to the website I do not know but I'm going to be trying them out today um we've got a little bit of essence technic but mostly <laughs> mostly made by Mitchell. Also, as I am filming this, I have ordered the new Cosmic Brushes palette, but it hasn't arrived yet. We're in this grey zone in the middle where I have it, like, I, I have one with my name on it. I'm obsessed with it, but I haven't got it yet. <laughs> so I'm going to be using a Cosmic Brushes palette, but not that one. You, I, I don't know when this video is coming out, but you may have already seen my review for that. I already know I'm going to be obsessed, but let's just start. Let's just dive straight on in. If you are new here, yes, I always ramble like this. My name is Millie. I post at least three times a week on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday, but I am posting every single day in October. So if you want to see more from me, you can subscribe down below, give this video a big thumbs up and let's dive. Starting with... 17. The Enriched, Vitamin Enriched Primer. This is obviously meant to be a dupe for the Bobby ba Bobby, Bobby Brown <laughs> Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I have tried the Revolution dupe for this, didn't like it, decluttered it, um, but <laughs> I saw this one I was like, hmm, affordable, I can give it a go. It was also on three for two. So I've got three bits to try from 17 today, but it's got a little like stopper thing in the top. I will say this one looks thinner than this, the Revolution one. Um, so let's see, that's what the texture looks like. It is still quite thick, but I'm hoping that this is going to be like a nice moisturizing base. It says that it's moisturising on the back, so let's see. Doesn't have any sort of scent, which is my preference. I'm basically just going to use this as a moisturiser. I have already done all of my skincare routine, but I do have incredibly dry skin, so I do like to add a lot of moisture into my skin, so... This is spreading out really nicely. It feels a lot more hydrating than the Revolution one. I found that the Revolution one, when it dried down, it almost had like a powdery feeling to it. It felt and looked quite matte and quite drying, even though it was meant to be a hydrating, moisturising primer. I didn't really like the way that it felt on my skin, but this one feels lovely really nice and hydrating but not too thick like I can definitely still feel it on my skin but like I say as a dry skin gal I do prefer having that nice thick moisturized base so really really like that I will just put that little stopper back on the top I really like the look of the um jar as well it's a glass jar with a little pink lid very cute very demure um so for foundation and concealer these aren't brand brand new products so i'm just going to skip off and do this it's the technic triple wave serum foundation which i have been loving and i thought we were doing a lot of made by mitchell today i may as well throw in another one the brighton concealer the technic foundation i have in the shade light and the concealer i have in lbr4 so I'm going to go off and do these and then everything else, apart from the eyeshadow palette, everything else is brand spanking new, first impressions, etc. So let me do this and I will be right back. 
Okay, so those um, base products are going over the top of that primer. Lovely. So, so nice. Now, I already love these products. I already love that foundation and concealer. So, that's sort of why I wanted to use them, so that we could see how this was um, working with the primer. But I really like that. And I definitely think coming into the colder season, coming into autumn, I need all of the hydration I can get. I need it all. So... I really, really like that primer. I like that a lot more than the Revolution one. Like I say, I used the Revolution one. I could probably count on one hand the amount of time that I used it. I really didn't like it because of the way that it dried down. This one feels lovely. I really, really like that. So for bronzer, we've got another 17 product. I have already tested out this product, but in the light shade, and it didn't work for me in the way that I thought it was going to so I picked up medium 02 medium and I'm going to try and use this as a liquid bronzer the light shade is nice as like a bronzing drop mixed into for my skin tone obviously mixed into a primer or mixed into like your skincare as like a base I like that one the light shade for that purpose but I was wanting to use it more as a liquid bronzer so let's see what this shade is like I'm going to use a Real Techniques expert face brush <laughs> and let's see these are nice and glowy they are very very thin like if I hold that like that you'll be able to see that start to run down my hand very very thin and like I say this is the shade medium oh it looks really nice and warm and glowy so I'm just getting a very little amount on my brush just in case <laughs> and let's warm up the face a little bit I also really love the blushes that are in this formula this packaging very very pigmented though <laughs> you don't need as much with the blush drops as you do with the bronzers like the blush that would be enough to cover your whole being <laughs> So let's see how this is going to go. I really like that colour. That is a beautiful colour. I love like a ready toned bronzer. I just think it suits me so much and I do feel like it sort of blends into the blush really nicely as well. I just love that undertone on me and I do feel like that that is a red undertone rather than something that's too orange don't get me wrong I love orange you will see if you know what made by Mitchell has been releasing <laughs> recently yeah I got that blush <laughs> that one so be interested to see how it blends into this bronzer but I really like that these are really thin, like I didn't actually need as much as I thought I would. Really thin, really serum-y feeling, beautiful and glowy, like it's going over the skin really nicely, blending out so easily, like you probably just saw that in real time. <laughs> Looks beautiful and glowy, but also really nice and natural. I'm not the biggest fan of the packaging, but I appreciate that this is obviously a very affordable brand and it's a very affordable sort of way to do packaging rather than something with a wand or a doe foot or something like that. Just being in like a little squeezy bottle will be a lot more cost effective. So I'm just going to bounce over this with that sponge just to make sure that there aren't any areas that aren't blended but I think that that looks really nice big fan I am just going to take that brush with no more product on it just whatever's left on there and warm up the snoot a little bit tap it over the eyes I do like to bring my bronzer onto my nose a little bit sort of bring that colour in so very happy with that and now we're on to the made by Mitchell segment of this video. I 
got the orange blush. So they brought out this whole like graffiti collection. I've also definitely got my eye and I don't know how wearable it will be, but I've definitely got my eye on that bright yellow blush. Look at this colour. <laughs> so annoying orange. Look at that so excited so another real techniques expert face brush and how do i want to do this oh that color is incredible oh, that color is incredible i think i'm just gonna tap this onto the cheeks yeah i already know i'm gonna love this i got way too much okay ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so I love this. I love that colour. Very pigmented. Got way too much. I feel like I need a little bit more on that side, but not much. <laughs> not much at all. I love that colour. <sighs> I love an orange blush. I don't know if it's because of like I've got a warm undertone. I always wear warm, a, a warm shade range in like my foundation or concealer or whatever. I am warm. Is that why I love an orange blush? Like I really don't understand the reason why I love an orange so much. I just know that I love an orange, I love an orange blush. And that is is this my favorite orange blush I've ever tried I don't think there is anything that I would change about this I think this might be my favorite orange blush that I've ever tried <sighs> Mitchell does it again <laughs> Mitchell does it again I love that blush like if you want an orange blush is that not just the perfect option just going back in with that bronzer brush no more product but just to tap over am I living my best orange blush life absolutely so what else did I get from Maybelline Mitchell the brow gel and now I'm um scared of this so this is the brow muck eyebrow texture gel you if you have seen my channel before and i appreciate there may be some new people here hi if you're new <laughs> yeah i do always get that excited about orange blush <laughs> if you are new here i am obsessed with the elf wow brow use it every single day no brow gel comes close I don't have a lot of brow to work with. I need a tinted brow gel that is going to make it look like the brow hairs that I have are the same colour as the hair that shoots out the top of my head. Obviously my hair is not naturally this colour. It's dark. <laughs> so I want a brow gel that is going to fluff up and also colour my brows. The Elf Wow Brow absolutely does that for me, but I do fill in with a pencil first. I don't need a lot of hold. This, however, when I first got this, I, I opened it and I got this in the shade Pinecone. They also have a green one. I'm interested though. Like, of course I am. Um, <laughs> got the shade Pinecone and when I looked at this I was like oh it looks like it could be similar to the Elf Wow Brow. I like tapped it on the back of my hand like this and I was like no that is more. That is more than Elf Wow Brow. So I'm thinking I might be able to just use this, not fill in with any sort of pencil or anything first, just use this. I'm looking around I don't think I have anything with a mirror in it. Oh, I can use the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Cool Trolls palette just for a little something across the eyes. But let's see. In fact, let me see me win. Let's see how this made by Mitchell Brow Gel is going to work on 
brow hairs yes i do have brow hairs but they're not dark is my problem so if i i'm scared <laughs> if i brush this lightly through the brows i'm only pressing very lightly because i don't want that brush to press onto my skin if I can at all avoid it. I don't feel like I can avoid that. Mm. I don't know if I like this. It's messy. Like the wand is very big. Like it's not quite a mascara wand but it's not far off. Hmm. I mean it's a lot of colour but I feel like it's a lot of colour sort of around my brows hmm <laughs> hmm <laughs> hmm <laughs> thoughts are not coming what do I think of this? It's very messy. I don't think I like this. I'm sorry, I don't think I love this. I feel like I'm gonna have to spend a considerable amount of time cleaning this up. So I'm just gonna take cotton bud and try and fix like the outsides I just feel like more of it got on my skin than what I would like I need a clean spoolie oh that's such a shame I had really high hopes for this. I mean, I was terrified, but also in Mitchell we trust. I don't think I like that brow gel. I feel like I can't get any sort of shape or definition. I'm just going back over with that makeup sponge because obviously I just had to wipe off <laughs> the foundation should I have done my brows first if you have this where have I put it if you have this brow muck tips please answers on a postcard I would love to know how to use that but I'm gonna go off and just fix the brows because I cannot take myself seriously brows are such an important part of your face <laughs> And especially mine because I have none um I need to just spend a minute and fix these so I'll be right back and I'll zoom you back out when I've got <laughs> some acceptable brows on my head I don't feel these are acceptable currently be right back okay so we are collectively just not going to look too closely at the brows I, I went and I, I used a clean spoolie to basically brush out most of that product. It's still very much there. And then I used the micro brow pencil out of my project pan just to try and fill in some of the sparse areas and try and make it look a little bit better. I don't like the way that my brows look. If you don't like the way that my brows look, that is also okay. A lot of the time I would say it doesn't matter because they're, they're my brows that are on my face. I also don't like them, <laughs> just so that we're all on the same page. Not a fan. Also, if the lighting <clears throat> looks a bit different, th that's how long I've been gone. The sun has gone down. It's also autumnal and I'm wearing a jumper and I'm thrilled about it. <laughs> so, lighting, brows, not exactly how I would like them to be. So I'm going to... What am I going to do next? I'm going to just set sort of down the centre of the face a little bit with the new Essence Flaunt Flawless Skin. No, that's not what this says. The Essence 
Flawless Skin Trio. Just added a whole word in there that isn't on there. Um, I've only tried this once so far um, and I like it, but I'm sort of holding judgment. <laughs> And obviously, like I said, the sun's gone down. I'm not going to be able to do like a wear test to see how this will actually hold up my base products. I'm not going to be able to do that today, but one day I will. I promise one day I will. I will come back at the end of the month and let you know. Like, can you see all of that powder? It's a very finely milled powder. I do like it. It's just, I'm not sure at this point how well it actually holds up all of the base makeup. But I, I will come back at the end of the month and give you my final thoughts. On everything that I test throughout the month, I always come back at the end and do a recap. And that will be day one of Everyday October. So I will keep on using this and you my final thoughts when I have them but I do like it like just as a first impression but I haven't had the chance to wear this for a full day I might try and wear it for work tomorrow so that I can start to form the thoughts and see what I think of it because like I say I do like it like first impressions it is blurring it is mattifying I just don't know necessarily how well <clears throat> excuse me the frog in my throat I don't know how well that didn't help at all one moment I don't know how well <laughs> it will actually hold up throughout the day I'm sorry I don't know what happened there I malfunctioned so that's how the base is looking I think it looks lovely I'm a big fan I'm gonna just do something very quick and nothing really on the eyes because I've got a new mascara and I don't want to do too much on the eyes like anything too dark so that you can't see what the mascara is looking like. I'm also I'm not gonna do a winged liner. I know. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I did just my makeup in general for an everyday thing. Or a video where I didn't do a winged liner. So I'm making myself not do one today. So going into Cool Trolls and I will dip into Eternal. This matte shade here. And I'll just put a little bit of that through the crease. I'll do something a little bit deeper on the outer corner. And then maybe just a shimmer on the inner corner. Like I say, I don't do anything that is too crazy today. So... Just a little wash of Eternal through the crease. I'm just going to dip into a little bit of Stone Cold next to it and just deepen that up a tiny bit more. I do want to be able to see something. <laughs> and that Eternal shade is so close to my skin tone that I feel like I need just a tiny little bit deeper. <laughs> this one is working for me. I'm also going to put that under the eyes. Just wiggle that backwards and forwards a tiny little bit. Then I will use the same brush and I will dip into, I'll just stick on that top row, dip into grounded. I'll just get that right on the tip of that brush and just deepen up the outer corner a tiny little bit. Not too much nothing too crazy. I do feel like in every video that I do I always end it by saying I'm going to go and make myself a big bowl of pasta. I'm not making a big bowl of pasta tonight. Sausage and mash. Classic. Sausage and mash, roasted carrots, stuffing, gravy, autumn meal. <laughs> autumn meal in a, a sentence there so I don't need to look too glam. For my sausage and mash you know so that is as deep as i'm gonna go on the outer corner just a little something a little a little something you know so i want more of a dense flat brush this one will do and let's dip into 
Let's go into reveal this like duo chromey one and I'm just going to put that on the inner corner just to brighten that up a little bit and add a bit of blue to match my jumper. Like I say, the sausage and mash does not care if my inner corner matches my jumper. But I do. I care. It makes my heart happy. So I have just grabbed a slightly fluffier brush. This is a Cosmic Brushes CB3. Just grabbed a slightly fluffier brush and sort of tapped that up through the inner part of the crease. And that is all I'm doing. I feel naked without a wing. <laughs> but like I say, mascara. It's another 17 product. This is Bigger Better Lash Mascara, your number one mascara. Major length, dramatic volume, long lasting. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. Like I say, this was on three for two with this and these. So girl math, like I think I got this for free. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Um, it says this long lasting mascara with hourglass shaped brush, love that. Separates and coats each lash for major length and dramatic volume. I love an hourglass shaped brush because I like a lot of drama, I like a lot of volume, a lot of thickness. I want my lashes to basically be tickling above my eyebrows. So this is what the tube looks like. It's a lot fancier looking than the other 17 mascaras that I've tried and that looks like a good wand that looks like a very good wand indeed so I'm going to go ahead and do one side just with one coat and one side with two so that we can see how it builds up um and <laughs> I should have left you zoomed in because I'll probably zoom you in so that you can actually see that but let's see how this goes on. First impressions. Yeah, it's giving volume. It's giving. I'm doing this in a mirror that's like further away than what I would usually do. <laughs> Concentrating. Um, first impressions. Yeah, I I like the way that that wand is grabbing the lashes. Um, I like the way that that is sort of applying first impressions but let me go ahead and do one on one side one coat on one side one two coats on the other <sighs> hope you're about to show you what that looks like goodness me okay so that is two coats on this side and one coat just on the top lashes i have done the bottom lashes on this side as well I like the way that that is sort of building up. I love the way that the wand is like properly separating the lashes. Quite often, I find when you get more of a volumizing mascara, it sort of clumps together all of the lashes. I love that. But I also love how this is like properly fanning them out and like separating them quite nicely, not clumping them together to make them look thicker. Like, I feel like you can still see every single one of my lashes but also like it's still thickening and it's still lengthening and dramatic I really really like how that looks so like I say this is just one side it's a little bit more natural um but I do feel like it builds up really really nicely as well obviously I can't talk about longevity because it's the end of the day and all I'm doing today is eating my body weight in mash but it's another one that I will try and I will come back at the end of the month and tell you what I think of. First impressions, I really like it. Okay, so I've just finished building that up on this side. I haven't used this palette, I was just using it for the mirror. <laughs> and I've noticed that that, like, where it's lengthened my lashes so much, it has um, imprinted, obviously while the liquid is still quite wet, and the lashes have like touched up here it has left little bits of black 
like up on my brow bone i don't mind that i already have quite long lashes i do use a lash serum so my lashes are quite long and that is a problem that i have with quite a lot of mascaras like before they properly dry down i will get those little specks i don't mind that i just clean it off and i move on with my day but just wanted to point out that they were there i know that they were there and I clean them off and I'm, I'm really happy with how that's looking so the last products that I am trying out and I've just realized I haven't brought over a lip liner but let me just tell you about the lipstick that I'm going to use this is one of the new made by Mitchell lipsticks so this is the is it called Matitude um lipstick but then on the back it says that it's a cream lipstick so I'm not really sure what sort of finish I'm going to get with this. And this is in the shade Next Valentine's. Honestly, all of the shades looked very, very similar. So I just went for something that I thought was going to be a little bit nudie. Doesn't have any sort of scent. But I'm going to go and just grab, honestly, probably my favourite lip liner, which is the Essence... Uh, yeah, Essence one. Let me just go grab it. This one, the Essence 8 Hour Matte Comfort Lip Liner. This is the new shade, so it's in keeping with the theme. It's a new shade. This is 12 Cushion Talk. Make of that name what you will. And I am just, I did put a lip balm on, so I'll just wipe that off. And my lips are not in the greatest of shape at the minute. I've been... A bit of an anxious mess so I bite the skin on my lips even though they're very well hydrated because I've been using that lip oil out of my project pan and um, they're very well hydrated but I've just been constantly biting my lips so maybe a matte liquid lipstick matte lipstick rather is not the best option but I'm gonna do the lip liner first and I'm just feathering that color in a tiny bit just so that the lipstick sort of has something to blend into and let's see oh does that seem like a smaller bullet I mean it's very rare that I ever twist up a bullet all the way but that seems quite small to me bigger does not necessarily mean better let's see oh it is creamy okay it is a very matte finish but it doesn't feel too dry which is what I was worried about I do feel like it's slightly concealer lips slightly I grew up in the era of concealer lips so I don't necessarily mind that I do feel like I just want to sort of go I want to add a bit more of this lip liner. I do feel like it's picking up on quite a bit of texture on my lips at the minute, but like I say, they're, they're not doing great. <laughs> I'm not doing great, I'm a mess. But I like the colour, I like the feeling of it. I was worried that it was going to be too matte. It doesn't feel too dry. Obviously, first impressions, <laughs> it may very well dry, dry me out throughout the day, but... I quite like how that looks. I'm not completely mad at that. I'm not completely mad. So that is my full face of new makeup sort of first impression edition. What do I think of everything? Quick debrief. Love the primer. The 17 vitamin enriched primer. Love that. Like I think that that is a win for the day. Really really like that. Also really love that blush. I feel like I have found my people when I get comments underneath my videos saying that other people also love orange blush. You are my people. I love this. How annoying. Love it. Um, also really like those bronzer drops, the 17 bronze drops in medium. They worked exactly how I wanted them to. 
I wouldn't necessarily use this shade to mix into like serums and things as an all over the face bronzing drop unless I was very tanned from the neck down, which is never gonna happen. But I really like that as like a liquid bronzer. Big, big fan of that. Love the mascara, but we'll have to report back on the longevity of that one. The brow gel. Unless, unless I, I get some sort of comment down below that explicitly tells me how I need to use this, I don't think I love this. <laughs> give me tips, please give me tips. I don't want to have wasted my money. Give me tips. Um, what else have we tried? I think that was everything that was new like new new I think that was everything so let me know have you tried any of these products what do you think of them is there anything that's new on the market that you have been loving that you think I need to try like I said at the beginning I I have undergrowth on its way to me and I'm so excited um so that review will probably already be up by the time you see this I currently don't have it in my possession so that will either be up or be coming soon. I already know I'm gonna love it. Um, and what else do I have to say? Subscribe for new videos every single day in October and probably December because who needs rest? Who needs sleep? Not me, obviously. Obviously. But until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. Bye.